Plain and simple today, we're going to be reviewing the 24mm S lens from Panasonic. Now, I'm assuming you maybe have watched my kind of preview initial reactions review with this lens. Um, and I'm pretty sure in that video, again, I'd have to go watch it again, I can't remember. But I think I remember saying like, hey, in a year, I want to make a video that says how much have I been using this lens? And then I think I said that I wanted to make a full review as well, but I hadn't really tried it enough. Well, I have now tried it enough. Sorry, that was my dog. Just got back from like a two week trip. We went up to my family's cabin, ran away to the woods. <laughs> Probably should have stayed there with all of the COVID that's going on. But you know, anyway, I digress. Awesome trip, snowmobiling, fires, my kids first time going up there. It was just, it was just epic. And other than, I think I swapped on a 50 mil one time for two shots and immediately took it off and said, no, stick with the 24. You wanted to stick with the 24. And then one day, because it had been two weeks, I did put on the kit lens because I kind of wanted to compare that 20 mil to the 24. So I did that one day. But for the rest of the trip, I only shot with this lens. I think that this review could be shorter than my initial impressions because the fact of the matter is I love this lens. It is an awesome lens. If you've been looking, if like, like if this lens is any testament to how the other S primes are, like they're fantastic. I don't, again, understand how Panasonic is just not like everyone's go-to camera right now. The S5, these S primes, the kit lens. <sighs> they're literally just smashing it out of the park at a price point that is pretty achievable for anyone who's willing to kind of say, yeah, I want some good quality, but I don't want to spend like an arm and a leg. You know, I mean, the R5Cs came out today and it's like, Who's got that kind of goddamn money? So let's go through my thoughts again. You can stop the video right now. If you're thinking about buying this lens, it's got the stamp of approval from Jake. If you think you want a 24 f 1.8, go buy this lens. It's awesome. But let's get into some of the details as to why I liked it so much. Let's start with an easy one, build quality. This one's kind of unique. Um, build quality on this lens is very good. Very, very good. And I think some people might complain that it's a little plasticky because it's got some plastic. Um, I think that's what makes it an S series lens because as far as I can tell, the optics are stellar um, and it's really high quality. Like just because it's not made of metal doesn't make it not high quality. And personally, I love this lens because it feels rugged. It feels robust. It feels like it was built really well, but it also isn't super heavy. And I hate metal lenses because they always feel heavy. They always just feel clunky. You know, your wrist starts hurting after the day. I like lenses that you just throw on, clicks in nice and solid, feels good. The, the focus ring feels good, which everything I just said applies to this lens. And you're just off running and gunning. It's not heavy and the quality is fantastic. This, all of those things I just said, this lens checks them all. So build quality, bam golden stamp of approval. This isn't a scientific review. And again, I'm hoping to put a whole bunch of footage from my trip and I'm going to be making a ton of content from that trip. I was gone for two weeks. I shot a ton. Um, so anything kind of from sort of a snowy looking cabin place over the next few weeks, probably most of it, if not all of it was shot on this lens. Do we like what Jake did with it? And Jake likes what Jake did with it. So it's good. You know, people talk about build quality. Let's talk about image quality again. Fantastic. I've got literally no complaints. Knocks it out of the park. It's great. It's maybe a it's maybe a hair digital for my taste. Um, just compared to some other lenses that I'm kind of getting into, which we'll eventually talk about on this channel. But at the end of the day, like it still looks really good. And depending on what you do with it and resolve or final whatever you edit in, you know, you can make it look really, really cinematic or whatever you want to call it. Like I, I don't. I don't think that's a real negative um, photo image quality is stellar. I I don't even know how to explain it. It's probably a combination of detail, sharpness, color rendition, um, contrast, like all of those things come together in a very specific way that when I open up like a raw file in Affinity or, you know, even a JPEG, a lot of times, you know, certain lenses just you look at them and I just go, Something's going on here. Something's going on here and it just looks really good. And this is one of those lenses where I just kind of open up the raw files and I was like, damn, like this lens has it. You know, I don't totally know what the perfect little secret sauce sprinkle of spices is that 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 makes a lens have it, but but this lens has it for photos. It's awesome. And same thing for video. Tack sharp looks great. I mean, even this shot, like, you know, 
I think it looks good. I'm really just bunting a bunch of these that are just easy, like, you know, it's just good. So I'm trying to like maybe kind of think in my head, you know, what are some of the things that I didn't like about this lens? Um, another thing that I actually really liked about this lens, and it's kind of the S5 too. I can't remember if the S1 does this as well in the S1R. I don't think, no, the, and I think the S1H does it too, but um, like a lot of those cameras, the sensor's so big that it can actually crop in and have APS-C mode. And at first I was kind of mad about this, especially because the 60 frames 4K has to be cropped. It doesn't um, shoot full width of the sensor, but like HD looks really good. I'm even filming in HD right now. So having the ability to shoot 4K 24, 4K 60 cropped, basically at the end of the day, having the ability to shoot high quality, full frame, 24 millimeter footage and cropping in to roughly a 35 mil equivalent made this like an excellent video lens. And especially being somewhere where it was snowy and cold and freezing, um, having that kind of peace of mind that I've got a prime lens on my camera with weather sealing, um, which I didn't talk about in build quality, but it's got weather sealing and knowing that there's no zooming, no moving parts, it's just a prime lens, and I can get a 24 and a 35 mil out in kind of nature type shooting, like for video, that's a dream come true. I loved it. And again, it's more the camera than the lens, but it's kind of like I thought that feature was dumb, and then it's like, no, on a, on a prime wide lens, like a 24, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I loved it, no complaints. Gee, everyone else likes to talk about autofocus too. Again, if you guys don't know the channel, I use it with Panasonic cameras. I don't use it with Panasonic cameras. I do both. I typically say it, it just doesn't matter to me because I don't usually use it. Like I'm usually locking off pretty much everything I shoot. Um, but like right now, I'm using it. I'm using it in the 24 mil. We're filming on it today. And um, I think it works really great, especially for photos. Autofocus is excellent. Um, for video, I think it's actually quite passable. Again, it's no Canon, it's no Sony, but as far as, you know, kind of Panasonic goes, I don't think I've seen better video and photo autofocus. So I, I don't know, the other primes are probably that way too, but it's, it's snappy and it's good. I like it a lot. Again, if you guys are at all interested in this lens or you think you want this lens, like it's got the gold stamp of approval from Jake. I love this lens. There's really nothing legitimate that I would complain about. We're going to go through a few things just for the sake of being, you know, somewhat critical <laughs> um, and talk about some things that annoyed me, but it's nothing that's a deal breaker and they're easy to work around. First one, this lens only goes to F16. It doesn't go to F22, so definitely had to pull out the ND filters sooner than I would have liked a lot of the time. Um, this is normal, again, with primes, especially at 1.8s or anything higher than, you know, like a 2.8. Um, typically they only go to 16, so nothing new, but especially shooting out on a sunny day in the white snow, like I definitely had to get some ND filters, which again is fine. I'm not complaining, I do it all the time anyway, so not a big deal, but you know, sometimes you could get away with it if you could do F22, which you can with this lens, but I don't know. I'm being so nitpicky in this section of the video. The only other main one that I can think about is really kind of a personal problem. And I don't think it's like a personal problem. It's just a personal preference. And that is I went in with this lens thinking that like, oh, I love 24 mil with a nice wide aperture. And don't get me wrong, I do. Well, I'm speaking from someone who used to own a Sony camera and the 24 mil G Master. That lens with, I think it was an a7 III at the time. Epic combo, looks so good, feels so good. That's just that's just a dynamite lens camera combo. And at the time back then when I had that lens, I just loved shooting 24 mil photos. I really, really enjoyed it. And this trip, I also really enjoyed it. But I think, especially as I get into more nature stuff, I really have been liking longer lenses, which has kind of surprised me because typically you kind of think, oh, nature, you want big, wide angles for landscapes, which I definitely used with this lens and got a lot of stuff that I really liked and it's good for people. Like 24 with a 1.8 or better is a really awesome lens. But lately I have been really digging kind of like sniping trees and sniping mountains. And so as far as photography goes, again, there's nothing legitimate to complain about here, but I was personally a little bummed just in that like sometimes I was like, yeah, I wish I had a little bit of reach and I have that, you know, 35 mil reach in video, but don't really have 20, you know, the same thing in, in photos. So 24 mil photos are great. Um, again, loved 
basically every picture I got with this lens, it just looks really good. But as far as from like kind of a, the Jake Felzine, you know, shooting style lately, I've kind of been digging longer nature shots. Um, so again, I, it's kind of pointless to say that in this video, but you know, if you're curious what Jake likes shooting, there you go. <laughs> lately, at least that's what I'm into lately. But I mean, you could argue that like an eight, the 85 S lens, I should probably pick up and it's like, if I had the 24 S prime and the 85 S prime, so you got something, they're like super lightweight, super small, easy to throw in like any kind of bag and you gotta reach and wide like, I probably should just buy that lens. Anyways, guys, let's let's not drag this out. This lens is awesome. If you think you want to get it, you should definitely get it. I have not been disappointed. I still plan on making the video in a year to say whether or not this lens has lived on my camera most of the time. Again, I think it will. There's a really good chance because as far as video goes, I am kind of obsessed with having a 24 and a 35 lens. Um, it's just awesome. Um, Photos might be the one thing that gets me, but again, I want to keep pushing myself. I want to try to get more creative with 24 again. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll go from there, but I might, I might need to pick up that 85. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Hope that this wasn't too long of a review of a review. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Again, lots of winter cabin content coming up. Um, so like and subscribe for that. And comment down below, are you thinking about getting this lens? What do you like about the S5? Have you got an S5? Do you have any of the S-series cameras? I think they're just awesome. We talk a lot about that stuff here, and we like to make cool videos with it. So, again, subscribe if you're into that. But I'm out. I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm sick of it. You guys have a good one.